Hi everyone, my name is Shamangi and we are going to do a short workout for the legs. For this workout you either need a mat or a towel or maybe a small cushion. And when you're ready, let's start. Feet are slightly further than hip distance apart and we're going to start with squats. Now we all know squats, I think, but when we do it together it will be a lot easier and maybe even more fun. It's a great and simple way to warm up the legs, to prepare the legs for the next moves. Now make sure you press your heels into the floor. Keep the core engaged by drawing in the belly button. And as I always say, think about a belt that's on just a little bit too tight. Make sure that your shoulders are relaxed. Don't do this, promise me. Press the shoulders away from the ears. And maybe you can sink even deeper. How about 10 more? Are you counting? Hang in there. One more. Okay, I hope the legs are warm. And then you can use your mat or towel. I'm coming a little bit closer. So either your feet are flat like this or you can tuck your toes under whatever you prefer whatever works best for the knees now squeeze your butt push your hips forward shoulders are down and just like before core engaged and when you're ready lean back you try to hold and then slowly come forward and again back now let's try not to go all the way forward so there's still a little bit of tension left on the thighs. Are you still pushing your hips forward? Keep the shoulders down. And let's try to stay back for just a little bit longer. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come forward. And let's do this again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come forward. Let's do this one more time. Last time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 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 two and one. <sighs> well done. Okay, <clears throat> let's stand. You don't need the towel anymore. Give your legs a little shake. Let's continue with the lunge. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can use a chair and place your back leg on the chair. Down, but not all the way up. Make sure that your shoulders are still relaxed. Try to keep the front leg bent. Slowly down, not all the way up. If you go all the way up, it looks like this. This is when your leg will relax, but we try to keep the time under tension as long as possible. Mm -hmm. 
And how about a few tiny pulses? Keep breathing. Chest is up, shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly going up, give your legs a little shake. And let's switch straight away before we realize what we're doing. So check yourself. Are you keeping your front leg bent? Ooh. The second I check it, the second I'm off balance. <laughs> Are your shoulders still relaxed? Yes. I'm back to the tiny pulses. Maybe even deeper, maybe not. Five, four, three, two, one. I hope that went well. Last exercise, feet are wide, turn your toes out. Now your hands are either, I don't know, here, here, or in front of you, but try not to place your hands on your thighs. Now we're going down, but not all the way up. With the regular squat, you know, you, your butt might go back a little bit. Oh, that was not very elegant. But with this particular squat, tailbone is tucked under, and we're going down. We try to engage the inner and outer thigh just a little bit more. And maybe you can push your knees to the back a little bit. And how are you doing? How does it feel? Is it easy? If so, sink deeper. If it's not easy for you, sink deeper. Okay, let's do tiny pulses for the last 30 seconds. No, don't place your hands on your thighs. Keep your hands high. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly going up. Maybe you want to give your legs a little shake. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you so much for watching and joining me. Looking forward to seeing you again in the next workout. Bye.